It is the morning before the first day of the rest of my life. What's up dudes? It is 5.30 right now. I had just woken up. As you can tell, I look like I've gotten punched by a lot of tigers. And I have a game plan for the entire day. I have a to-do list for the morning, a to-do list while I'm in Costa Mesa, and a to-do list afterwards. It's gonna be pretty hectic, but uh, let me share with you what I have to do before I leave this house in an hour and a half to move my car by 7 a.m. <gasps> okay. Yes, it looks like a bomb went off in my kitchen, but for now, that does thou not matter. I have eight things to do before I leave this house. And the first one is order a book. Yes, online. Order batteries. Yes. Move my car by seven. That'll be easy. Set up a new board and go skateboarding. I want to do that before I leave this house. Send Doug stuff. I have to send him some video clips and a thumbnail. Ooh, gosh, my paper. Uh, 50 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and meditate. That is all I have to do before 7 a.m., which is in an hour and a half. So I have to get my going on going. Oh, how did I turn red all of a sudden? Five minutes before clutch time. Now, we head out. It is such a pretty morning, and now it is time for me to get my revenge. Huh? Oh yeah, hey guys. Uh, before I get in a terrible car accident, my Trey Flip 5 Revenge. That's what I'm heading for right now in Costa Mesa in a video not too long ago. I tried to Trey Flip 5 on this bump to ledge for two hours, never got it, was sad. But today is my day for revenge, because I want revenge. We want revenge, why not? You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do that right now. And by the way, that song, I know you guys are gonna ask, because it's super good, uh, is Faded by Alan Walker. Oh gosh, but it's a, it's a pretty popular song, but um, it's good. I'm just getting to the skate park, Volcom Costa Mesa Skate Park, and I couldn't be more stoked. This place is beautiful, it's such a fun place, but the gate is locked. So I'm gonna have to break into a skate park? Is that how it goes? Cause uh, I gotta get this trick this morning, I have to get it, so. Sorry, gotta break in. Now this is Volcom Skate Park. Wow, it is bright. I'm gonna go straight to the Trayflip 5.0. I'm gonna warm up just a little bit. I'm only gonna do like a tray flip and a 5.0. I just wanna get the basics down. I'm gonna go straight for this trick. Very excited. Okay, this park closed for another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you watch me jump the fence? Well. Ah, uh, man, I wish you would've told me before I jumped it. The effort, the effort that was involved. You said be back in one hour? I mean, there's a center right there, right? There is, but... Yeah, I seen it. <laughs> All right, gotta come back in an hour. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do. You gotta take it the way it is. Party pooper. I'm gonna get back to you in one hour. Coincidentally, I have not done yesterday's edit, so I can work on that, and I gotta use teeth whitener too, and that takes an hour, so... Need to stay productive in the hour wasted that I could be trying to trade for 5-0, but whatever. He's actually cleaning the skate park, so it makes sense. All right, we made it in, and now it's time to get started.
succeeded. I'm <laughs> so happy that I did that. If this was another unsuccessful day like yesterday, I would have punched anyone's face. Any of these people playing tennis right now would have just punched all their faces. <sighs> I'm so relieved. Okay, I just finished everything I needed to do, so I'm very excited. Um, but I'm gonna do a quick Q&A before I leave here. And this one is from my good homie. I always say that, but I'm just putting it in the universe because if I meet him one day, maybe it would be cool if we're, uh, if he sees me, we're, like, we're good friends, right? I don't know if it works that way. But this one's from Mario Barragan. And he's saying, do you ever plan on going back to school? Not at all. Not even in the least bit because uh, I have a good sense of what I need to do and what I need to do to get there. And school is 100% not a part of that plan. But you know, school is definitely important in some ways. Like if you want to be an engineer or if you want to be in medical field, it, it's actually very necessary. You can't do those things without going to school. You need a diploma. But um, when it comes to things that are a little more miscellaneous, I think with art and with music, etc., if you have the extra money, go to school. It's definitely cool and I think, uh, and you know, you don't even have to listen to me about this kind of stuff. This is just what I've learned through like listening to the world's leaders talk about school as well. And this is the stuff they say. It's uh, if you have extra money to go to school, it'll teach you lessons like how to talk and how to handle things really quickly and how to keep up your curriculum. And if you don't have that much self-motivation, school actually helps a lot because they give you things that you need to complete. But if you do have a lot of self-motivation and you know that you can get things done yourself, nobody's ever going to hire you based on a college degree when it comes to a miscellaneous skill. Like if, if someone's going to hire you for art or for music or for, let's say, um, editing. They're gonna look at what you've done, not your degree. So I, I know that from a personal experience in California with my friends and with everyone I know, it's 100% that way. So pick accordingly and uh, don't let your parents watch this because I don't wanna get in trouble. Just figured I'd take this opportunity to tell you my you now schedule. I'll put all the information in the description below, but it's gonna be on Friday nights at 7 p.m. and Sundays at 12 p.m. So not midnight, but 12 p.m. And that's all West Coast. So if you're on the East Coast, it's gonna be 10 o'clock p.m. on Friday nights and three o'clock p.m. on Sundays. So I'll put all the information below. I'll also write on the screen here so you can see it and make it easier. But yeah, if you wanna tune into a live feed of just me hanging out, it, it should be cool. And I'll answer whatever question you have. Um, yeah, because a lot of people ask questions on my videos and they want me to do Q and A's, but this is a much easier way. I can just answer, rifle off questions like that. So tune in, it should be really fun, especially because I'm gonna try to explore and go to different places and not just do it at like one boring location, you know what I'm saying? So thanks guys. I can't imagine not getting made fun of for this, but my first attempt at actually cooking rice with a rice cooker went terribly. I don't know how to cook rice and I think all you do is switch a button. So attempt number two happening right now because I have three meals in mind that require rice. You've always got to do this right. This place is awesome. Like, woo! Honda Insight. Honda Insight. Totally just spent like five minutes trying to get into this car. <laughs> this is mine. Here's the thing. I haven't done dinner in a movie in a long time and I actually had a few people hit me up and say, why don't you do those anymore? So basically, I'm gonna watch a skate video that Either I'm a part of, or it's like a video that I think you guys should see, or recommend, so uh, that's what's happening right now. But this is a video from Alex Buning, and he's a friend of Andy Schrock's, I mean he's on Revive, he's like on Force Wheels, he's part of the whole family. I've only met him once, unfortunately, but I was talking to Andy about his videos and kind of talking about ideas of like random things to film, just because I, I thought it was interesting, but he was like, dude, you need to watch this video on Alex's channel called Can You Skate a Microwave? And I think he recommended it because he has a lot of tricks in it too, so it was kind of like the whole crew be skating this microwave. Anyways, I'm gonna watch it right now and I'm gonna eat this. And it's gonna be delicious, so uh, yeah. And if anytime you wanna check out the whole video for yourself, you can click on this little, this screen is gonna turn into an iPod. Or an iPad, an iPhone, Jesus. Okay, it's gonna turn into an iPhone. Just click anywhere on that if you wanna watch the video yourself. So I'm gonna start watching it now. Hi, welcome to the future. <laughs> <laughs> Angelic music. Hold on, Andy Schrock's actually calling me right now. Dad. Hey. What's up, dude? Why do you call me dad all the time? I don't know, I call a lot of people dad, but I think it's hilarious. I actually am a dad. I know, that's the weirdest part, I guess. So, if, we, if, I, if it was, did I word that like the worst person in the world? Did you word what? The worst person in the world, Your what? Text. My text to you. Uh, the newest one I didn't read yet. Oh, I said, you know how you're Asian? What kind of Asian are you if I'm allowed to ask you that as a white guy? Oh, no, nah, you're not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm half Korean, half American. That's what I thought. 
All right, back to our program before I got rudely interrupted by a dude who wears a red shirt all the time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. That was a good one. That was a good one. Okay. Uh. Whoa. Uh. Oh, that one dented it. What? Oh. That was insane. What? Oh, God. Back to the back tail. Perfect. Okay, I, I honestly, I that was so, so good. V-Man. Dude, that's insane. Maybe I don't know Alex well enough to know how good he is, but geez, dude. And just because I want Alex to like me, I'll put all his information in the description below. So you should definitely, definitely, definitely check out his channel because he's friends with a whole gang. Like he's part of the Revive crew, Foursquare, I already said this, but uh, yeah, and I want him to see this and be like, dang, Joe, you got my back. And I want to be like, yeah, dog, let's be friends. So uh, yeah, this is my attempt at being friends with uh, Alex. Please like me. So I might as well just finish off right here, and I'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible. I'm gonna do a Q&A that leads to a quote that leads to the ending, and this, Q&A is from Aril, A-R-I-L, and she's asking, hey oh, John, any tips on self-confidence? Yeah, I have one or two. Uh, the main one is that knowing that everyone else has their own insecurities and has their own issues, to me, makes me feel better about myself and be able to act however I want in public, because everybody's gonna have their things that they just can't really get past, and you know, for some people, it's just like being really quiet and being not too confident about themselves, but everyone feels that way, so you might as well just be as outspoken as possible. And um, there's one other thing. Oh yeah, it's also realizing how insignificant the little things in your life you do are. And I know that sounds cynical, but I promise it's not. It's actually eye-opening, or it has been to me. You can do very great things for people and humanity, but if you went outside and you saw a pretty girl and you went up to her and said like, can I have your phone number? And she was just like, no. You would feel bad for what? 20 seconds, and in the grand scheme of things, how, how much would that really matter? Especially if you had a future where you did wonderful things for a lot of people, you would never think about that moment. And if you did, who cares? Like, it's not gonna affect you that much at all. So, I don't know, it's, it's just really think about what is at loss from being confident. And I promise it's never a lot. Oddly enough, the quote is actually one that I came up with that I tell myself all the time. Um, and it goes, you don't have to be who you're programmed to be. So just remember that that comes with confidence as well. If you start, trying to venture out what you think you're meant to be like, it's super eye-opening. Like the things that you can realize about yourself are infinite. I mean, you you can you have the potential to be, God, it's, it's starting to sound like cheesy, like you can be whatever you want, but you really do have the potential to be any way that you want to be. If you want to change tomorrow, do it. That's what I say. And I'm gonna thank you for watching, subscribing, commenting, liking. I'm gonna sing this every single time when I end now. Just kidding, I'm never gonna do that again. That was just so awful. But I do appreciate you guys sticking through and watching the videos. I'm gonna go inside, go through the comments, respond, reply to as many as I possibly can, and just work on my computer and read and do things. It's daytime still, so I'm actually excited about this. I have a lot of hours tonight just to work on things, work on the future, work on cool things for you guys to see. I'm very excited about this channel and the way it's growing and the things I can do that you guys will hopefully find entertaining. So thanks a lot, good night.